hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And if you saw my last video, you'll know that I currently have the keys to this stunning brand new 2023 L460 generation Range Rover. It's in Belgravia green and it's been provided to me by the Out, who are an exclusively Jaguar Land Rover rental service. When you rent a car from the Out, it gets delivered straight to your door and you don't have to worry about any extra charges because it's all included. Unlimited mileage, additional drivers, fully comprehensive insurance, and much, much more. So today we've brought the car to the highlands of Scotland, genuinely one of my favorite places on earth. In the Bible, they talk about the Garden of Eden and I do genuinely imagine that to be somewhere like the highlands of Scotland on a sunny day. It's just stunning. And my wife is with me. She's never been here and I've always wanted to bring her. And so having this Range Rover is just gonna make the experience so much more special and so much more memorable. I can't wait. then driving the Range Rover through this stunning scenery on the way to our first stop. We drove this car 450 miles up yesterday from Buckinghamshire to here in Glencoe where we're staying and it won't surprise you to hear that it was just absolutely effortless and look at this the Balakulish bridge we're just crossing now with views oh my goodness I mean look at this. Katie did you find the Range Rover comfortable? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I say we because Katie actually did, well, at least half of that 450 mile drive yesterday. And how did you find it to drive? I was like a school kid. I was so excited. <laughs> the car is flawless, isn't it? I know. It's absolutely stunning. But yeah, I have to say this latest generation L460 Range Rover is it, by far the most comfortable, luxurious and softest car I've ever had the pleasure of riding in and driving as well. So we've just driven through the wonderful town of Fort William, have many fond memories here and it's the first time ever I can just about see Ben Nevis and it's always been in cloud when I've been here. Just stopping for a quick Costa, why not? And then where we're going next is gonna make more sense because I really wanna see Ben Nevis. This is one huge benefit of Range Rover as well. I forgot that it's exactly the right height for drive through windows. It's kind of weird, it feels like you're in the room with them. And so here we are then, we've made it to the first stop on the It's Joel tour and the weather is frighteningly good. I don't think I've ever been to this part of Scotland and seen such deep blue sky and the wind is completely calm. And amazingly, the mercury is reading 24 Celsius here just outside of Fort William. And hilariously, in London, it's only reading 19 today. It should be the other way around. Now that's due to something largely called the jet stream and also air pressure. Now air pressure or atmospheric pressure is commonly measured with a device called a barometer. And what a barometer does is tells you that the I think what Joel is trying to say is that it's a beautiful day here at Ben Nevis, which I think is the tallest mountain in the UK. So yeah, Katie is totally right. Ben Nevis over there is, although embarrassingly small at only 4,411 feet, it is the tallest thing we have to offer in terms of natural points in the UK. And being here just across from Fort William, just to the west, gives us an incredible and really rare unobstructed view of the beast.
we're back in the car now, Katie's driving, but while she's doing that, there's plenty of things in here that I can keep myself entertained with. For a start, actually, I can see what's going on behind us because this thing has one of those electronic rear view mirrors, where you can switch it back to a conventional mirror if you prefer. I've got this gorgeous and huge panoramic roof above me so I can just lean back and enjoy the sights all day long. I can use this rotary dial here to select between having a cooled or a heated bottom and as has been the way with Range Rovers for decades now I've got two glove boxes because one is definitely not enough. So where are we going anyway? Harry Potter. What do you mean? We're going to the bridge in the Harry Potter films, the one that they go on the train to Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I have to say, in general, one of the best things about being in a Range Rover is sitting so high up. It just means you see so much more. Even on roads like this where there's lots of tree cover, I can see over most of it. And even just on the drives, on the way to your destination, you get to take in so much more of the scenery because of this high up seating position. It's fantastic. So we've arrived at the Glenin Finn Aqueduct. I probably said that completely wrong. And as you can see, the scenery in all directions is gorgeous. It's just a short walk up there now. We were just saying off camera, weren't we, how we probably wouldn't be doing this if we didn't have the Range Rover. As silly as that sounds, you just want to get in and drive it, don't you? Yeah. And so we're basically spending the whole day driving as far as we possibly can, seeing as much as we can possibly see because we enjoy driving so much. We had no idea this was coming. So cool. Okay, so that was literally the coolest thing. We <laughs> we came here because you wanted to see the Harry Potter bridge. Yeah. There was lots of people, and I jokingly said, "Well, imagine it. The train's actually coming." And it did. <laughs> we literally got there, and then it arrived, and then that was that was awesome. So cool. <laughs> my turn back at the helm of the Range Rover and we're heading west. We're going to keep going west until we find the sea and well a beach isn't the first thing you think of when you think about Scotland however it does have them in abundance and not only that but they're some of the most gorgeous anywhere and on a day as spectacular as today when we get there I don't think we're going to be disappointed. I'm also driving a little bit more briskly because when we get there, it's time for lunch. This is not a bad place to have a picnic, is it? And having this Range Rover just makes it so much more fun. So we have this tailgate. And, I don't know if you've noticed, Katie, we have cup holders, Yay. one either side here. That's so exciting. Speaking of which, actually, 
Uh, we've got this cool box with a load of food in it, which we're going to tuck into, but in here, there is a fridge and in which I've kept our drinks. So let's get a couple of these out here and they're ice cold. Drink? Yes, please. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might happen. I'm so sorry. day today has been. We're back where we started at the Balakulish Hotel, I hope that's pronounced right, where we're staying next to the amazing Balakulish Bridge. We've driven probably about 14 hours since we left this morning. We've been all over the place, all the way over to the west and the sea, been up through Fort William, we've seen Ben Nevis. It's been, it's been incredible actually and also having this brand new 2023 L460 Range Rover has just made it that much more memorable and that much more special and the truth of the matter is although the scenery speaks for itself it just wouldn't be the same without this car it's been magical but i hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed coming along with us today on our sort of scottish adventure there's an endless amount of places you can visit an endless amount of places we didn't visit today in scotland you need really a lifetime to see it all and I've been here at least 10 times now and I'm still nowhere near seeing all the sights that Scotland has to offer. So only means I'll have to be back. And actually I will be back in Scotland going all the way up to John O'Groats. Well, literally next week as I'm filming this for a video to do with something to do with the sun. I'll let you guys guess what that might be. I attempted it a couple of years ago and it didn't quite go to plan. So that's gonna be coming your way very soon. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. And a massive thank you, of course, to The Out for supplying us with this Range Rover. I do really encourage you actually to go to the description below this video, click on the link that will take you to The Out website, and have a look at all of the cars that they have to offer there. And maybe book yourself one for a trip of a lifetime like this has been. Thanks all so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Hey.